What is the difference between monocot and dicot plants? In your biology lab, did you get a chance to observe a transverse section of different parts of a plant under a microscope? Do you know that plants have a different arrangement of various internal tissue systems? In this video, we will discuss the anatomy of monocot and dicot plants. Plants are of two types, that is, monocot plants and dicot plants. Each has a different arrangement of internal tissue organization in their stems and roots. The outermost layer of roots in both monocot and dicot plant is epidermis, which forms the root hair. The middle layer is cortex and consists of several layers of thin-walled parenchyma cells, whereas the innermost layer is endodermis. The vascular tissue xylem in monocot root is more than six, that is, polyarch, while in dicot root, the xylem bundles are tetrarch. In the cross-section of monocot roots, the metaxylem vessels appear circular, while in dicot roots, the vessels appear polygonal. The cells that lie between xylem and phloem bundles are known as conjunctive tissues. These cells are sclerenchymatous in monocot root while parenchymatous in dicot roots. The pith is large and fully developed at the center in monocot roots while in dicot roots it is small or inconspicuous. The outermost layer of dicot and monocot stem is epidermis in dicot stem, the epidermis forms epidermal hair, while in monocot stem, the epidermal hair is absent. The middle layer in both monocot and dicot stem is cortex. The hypodermal region of cortex in dicot stem consists of cholenchyma cells, while in monocot stem, sclerenchyma cells are present. The vascular bundles are arranged in form of a ring in dicot stem, whereas in monocot stems, the vascular bundles are in scattered form. The pith is large in dicot stems while absent in monocot stems. The vascular bundles of dicot stem, because of presence of cambium, are the open type, while in monocot stem, the bundles are the closed type. The ground tissue of dicot stem is differentiated into stellar and extrastellar tissues, whereas in monocot stem, the ground tissue is not differentiated. This concludes our video on anatomy of monocot and dicot plants. Let's answer a few questions asked in the medical entrance exams. Question 1. The vascular bundles are arranged in a ring in stem of 1. Wheat 2. Maize 3. Rice or 4. Gram This question was asked in RPMT 2011. Solution in dicot stems, the vascular bundles are arranged in a ring with pith concentrated at the center of the stem, such as in gram, p, etc. Hence, option 4 is the correct answer. Question 2. Secondary growth occurs in dicot stem due to Number 1. Phloem Number 2. Medullary rays Number 3. Cambium Or Number 4. Xylem this question was asked in AIPMT 2010. Solution: The cambium tissue is present in between xylem and phloem that provides the ability to form secondary xylem and phloem tissues by the process of secondary growth. Hence, option 3 is the correct answer. Students must learn the characteristics of monocot and dicot plants to answer questions related to these. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn. Download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for studying.